Hey you guys, this is Tina Harlow with Guiding Bright and I am here with the amazing Paula Prober. Um, so I'm going to let Paula tell you a little bit about who she is if you haven't heard of her and um, we'll go from there. So Paula, tell us a little bit about some of your experience. Okay, well I'm a counselor in private practice in Eugene, Oregon. I work with gifted adults and I consult with parents of gifted kids. I have a blog called Your Rainforest Mind, which is about gifted adults. And, um, and I just have had a book published about a year ago called um, Your Rainforest Mind, A Guide to the Well-Being of Gifted Adults and Youth. Mm -hmm. And it is so good. It is really, honestly, one of, in my mind, and I've read a ton of, of gifted books, it is one of the best. It's really top notch. It's got a lot of case studies in it, tons of resources. And Paula is a very gifted writer. Um, so you'll enjoy reading it as well. So um, we've uh, basically my audience is mainly parents mm -hmm. um, of gifted children. And of course, many of the parents are gifted themselves. Mm -hmm. And I just wondered if you had kind of one word of advice um, or something that might be helpful to parents of gifted kids, and we know that gifted mm -hmm. kids have such a wide range of characteristics, but mm -hmm. if you had one word of advice, is there something that you could say, or that you would say? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think um, it, when I see parents for consultations around their kids, what I notice is the parents are often gifted themselves, mm -hmm. and I think that um, if, if, if it's generally that if the parent understands them, him or herself, um, then that's really helpful for their child. In other words, if they look at what their giftedness is, if they have some any issues from their own childhood that haven't been addressed, mm -hmm. if they notice their child is uh, triggering something in them, you know, they're mm -hmm. extra angry at their child over and over again mm -hmm. and don't know why. You know, if the parent really starts to examine themselves, mm -hmm. then, um, then that's really a great gift to the child. And oh. so it's not that you know, they sometimes come to me for the child as the problem, mm -hmm. but the child often doesn't need counseling. The parent does, or the uh, parent needs more information about themselves. Yes. So, so that and self-care, I guess, for parents too. You yeah. know, that is really great. And do you do you ever encounter parents that don't even know that they're gifted? Definitely. Yeah. 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 It, sometimes discovering their child is gifted is the first time that they've even thought about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know I see that a lot myself. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole, sometimes it open up, opens up a whole world mm -hmm. of knowledge for the parent to understand themselves too. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We are just going to do this short little tidbit of um, kind of advice and just letting you guys know about Paula um, and please check out her book. Um, it's available on Amazon, right? Yes, um, and tell us the title again. It's Your Rainforest Mind, A Guide to the Well-Being of Gifted Adults and Youth. So it's also, it's written about adults, but it's also written about teenagers. There are some case studies in there of a couple of teenagers that I worked with. So it's good for your teens to read. Okay, yeah. that's great. Now, if people want to, Paula has a really good blog, um, and I want to make sure you guys are aware of how to find that because it's super helpful, especially for uh, we adults. Um, so what, how can they find your blog? Mm -hmm. Well, the... Um, the URL is rainforestmind.wordpress.com, or if you Google your rainforest mind, you should be able to find it. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much. You're it's. Welcome. I'm so excited because I'm in, in Chicago at the Supporting Emotional Needs of the Gifted conference, and I'm so happy to be here with Paula in person. So, mm -hmm. all right, you guys, as always, remember, no matter what parenting challenges come your way, you've got this. See you next time.